Well, 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 you see here, I have a box and uh, this box contains a couple of tarantulas and also some other stuff. <laughs> Finally, after a really, really long time, we have a tarantula unboxing video. And that is all because the weather got better. The weather is warmer and Spider's World is finally able to ship their orders. And I actually had orders or order over there for quite a while because, you know, Kenya and her family, they got a bunch of packages for me in the past. And they also wanted to order some tarantulas for me. And now finally the package was able to arrive and also I ordered a couple of things for myself. You will see what are they. I mean, I won't be showing you everything that I ordered for myself that I personally ordered, but I will show you some, some other things. Regardless, let me open it. And as always, the package is packed really nicely. Even the aluminum foil, I think that's a new thing. I don't remember having a package packed in the, wrapped in the aluminum foil before. Hopefully everything is all right. The, this package was actually sent yesterday and it only took one day for it to arrive, which is amazing, superb service. Pricey, but superb. But paying a bit extra is always better than I receive dead spiders, dead animals, right? This is something special that I won't be showing you in this video. Uh, this will actually be a separate, entire separate video and it will be a next video only about this edition and it is something exciting, you will see. I also got myself a couple of mature males, you see, Pezzoteria rufilata, Pezzoteria formosa and Psalopeus cambrigae. So those are the sexy times that we will have in the future because I have the adults of all these species. So that will be exciting also. While all of these are from Kenya and her family, of course. But Yaroslav told me that he also added a little bonus for me. Oh, there is actually much more than I expected, than I initially expected. She said that she ordered a couple of tarantulas for me, but this is, this is definitely more than a couple, right? Quite more. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Oh wait, two of these. Did Yaroslav from Spider's World add me a bonus one? Or did Kenya actually order the same one that I wanted to order? <laughs> I need to ask him. <laughs> so many different species. Some are familiar, some are not. This one is bonus that Yaroslav added. You see the Pseudohapolopus species Kurzak something. Okay, he told me that he will add that as bonus from Spider's World, but the rest are from Kenya. Let's just dive in. I need to prepare a couple of empty cups, so... And everything is prepared, so let's dive in. And I will actually start with this Pseudohapolopus species. Uh, it should be a tiny tarantula, so let's hope that it is not super bolty, because this is something that you can easily lose. So let's try not to crush it. This is actually really tricky. Oh, never mind. Here is the little one. Check how tiny it is. <laughs> so currently it is not something to look at, but in the future, once it grows, it should be really, really pretty tarantula. So make sure to keep watching this channel if you want to find out how it looks. In the enclosure you go. There we go. First one done. Easy. And I will actually need to arrange them here in front of me and uh, be careful not to mix them up, because until I write the names down, <laughs> I can easily uh, mix the species. Next one is this species. Uh, it is, I believe, an African one. And I used to have a sling, but unfortunately it died. I think that I went a little bit too much with humidity for it. And since it is African tarantula, they usually prefer a more more dry environment so i will try to be more cautious this time and since this is an african tarantula you know bolts are something that you can expect so i will be also more cautious with getting it outside i will just try to pull the oh you see the little one is Really bolty. Whoa, this was a close call. This was a whew, 
Oh, super close call. <laughs> African bolters, but this one was extra bolty. I was quite surprised, quite shocked with this. Okay. Another action-packed video. <laughs> so why don't we take another African tarantula? And this is Heterotella villocella, you see? I actually have one sling of this species. Oh, it is tiny. The sling that I have, it is a bit bigger than this one, but it is still a sling and unsexed. So having multiple slings is always a good thing because with having multiple slings, you are increasing a chance to get a female Come on, you don't need to be bolty. There we go. This was actually quite easy, right? Quite easy and quick, even though this is also an African tarantula. All right, let's see who will surprise our next. And I am honestly first time hearing about this species. So I don't know if it's African, Asian, New World, maybe even better, right? Because you know, they say ignorance is bliss. So hopefully that's the case here. Okay, yeah. preparing the lid. Hello, hello. Are you a bolter or... <laughs> it went back. It actually went back. So cute. This one seems all right. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I have no idea what is this. I mean, I have the name of the species, but I never heard about that genus. So I don't know what to expect. I'll just put it here and we'll Google it later. Now, what a Harpactira, another African, yay! <laughs> Hopefully nothing will go wrong, but I can already see the, the small twitches that are not so pretty to see. Oh, she's like touching the tweezers, you see. Come on, let me grab the paper, please. Now prepare for another bolt. Oh yeah, she is mean. I'm gonna do this the safe way. Oh, actually, it's all right. Check her out. She actually seems pretty chill now. Okay, good, great. Another heterotele species, another African one. What is up with that? You really want me to lose the spider? Oh, but this is also tiny. Look, you see? Small, small, small spider. Thor, hey Dalash. Oh, let me show you this. Thor is under this table, you know, and it seems like he's shedding. Let's check it out. You <laughs> see? <laughs> he's trying to peel off the shed, so he is like scratching across the surface of his enclosure, and I can actually hear that on the table. <laughs> but let's continue with our slings. First, let's move this tiny heterotele. Don't go, little buddy. <laughs> no, no, don't go in by. <laughs> no, no, don't go back inside. In the cup. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. Even though she's tiny, you can see that she's actually fat. Pretty fat for her size. <laughs> so down you go, there. So that means six down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more to go, plus three mature males. Fun, fun. So let's spice it up with one Asian tarantula. And you know, Asian tarantulas, they are slow and uh, they don't have strong venom at all. They are super safe and easy. <laughs> so, Matimus siete. Let's check that one. And no, they are not super easy. They are also fast and bolty. And all that fun stuff. Therefore, we are doing this the safest way. See? Just like that. And the tarantula is right there. The ball of fluff. <laughs> easy! And that, can you hear that noise? You know who is making noise? This guy that, I don't know if he is doing noise now because he can hear me recording the video or he just decided to walk around and make a bunch of noise while he's at it just because. Huh, Despacito? Why are you doing that? Do you want to be on the camera? You want to be the star of the show? Well, you had the whole video only about you and your new enclosure, so you cannot have it in this video. But he is, he is all right. He's doing really, really well now since he woke up and he's really enjoying his new enclosure. So bye Despacito and shush. Be more like Felix, stealthy and quiet and silent. Yes, just like Felix. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue with another Asian tarantula. And that will be another Omotimus, uh, Omotimus Vialaceopes, even though I have an adult female. 
maybe she's adult, I'm not really sure, but I showed her in the last video she is like super nice and blue. But Kenya probably didn't notice that I already have this species because on the web shop where I have written, where I wrote all the animals that are present in the dark den, uh, I probably wrote the old name, the Lampropelma violatopes. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe this is a male, so in the future, you know. Once again, I'm giving it the safe approach. The, the super safe approach. Oh, yeah, she's jumping. I won't be opening the cup to show you that. But she's down there, you see. And that brings us to last tarantula that is kept in these small vials. All that are left are now in these bigger ones and the males. So let's check it out. So once again, I have no idea what is this. You see, Ami species Panama. Never heard about it, honestly. It is probably something super tiny down there. Yeah, most likely I will try to be super careful. But that is not so easy. Oh, it fell down. Oh no, it seems that this one is not good. Not well, you see. It seems that it didn't survive the shipping, unfortunately. If that's the case, I think that this will be the first casualty that I that I had from the spider's world. I believe that I never received a dead tarantula from them. Yeah, it looks like this guy is gone, but just for just in case I will put him in the enclosure and put uh, droplets on water on his mouth. Maybe that revives him, but by looking at it, I don't think that that will happen. Okay, it is done, but I don't think it will matter in the end. But that is always the risk when shipping small slings. I mean, whenever you are shipping any animals, sending them away, packing them, there is always a chance that they will die in transit. It is just I rarely experienced it. So it definitely sucks, but let's continue with this. Uh, this tarantula will need a bigger enclosure than this cup. Second, I had to quickly wash one enclosure because I have a couple of them there, but they are all dirty. So if we will need more, I will need to also wash them first. You see, this is Sericopelma species, Boquet, I don't know, but brr, there it is, big booty. <laughs> let's get it out. This should be an easy species, easy to move. Oh, check her out. I know that on camera she looks a bit dark, but she actually got some interesting coloration on her. Wanna go and stretch in your new enclosure? Pokey pokey. There we go, and her booty is kind of exposed, you see. She was throwing a lot of hairs, I guess. But you see, she got like a red around her legs, where her legs are connected with the carapace, you see? Interesting. All right, on to the next one. And next one can be a bit nasty because this is Lampropelma nigerium. And you know, Asians, it is an Asian tarantula, similar to Omotimus. She's kind of black, but she looks super black now uh, when she is against the, the white background like in here. Uh, but I will do like the safe method, you know. I don't want to deal with bolts. So out we go. Casually and easily. Okay, she's actually chill. Take a quick look at her. You see, there is some sort of pattern on her abdomen. Like a lot of Omatimus and Lampropelmas got, they got their some sort of stripes on the abdomen. Cool, cool, cool. Now, three left. Tarantula cat will be super hyped with this one, so I will leave it for last. This one is Sericopelma generalum. And I heard about that genus, but I didn't really hear about the species. So let's check it out. And what am I talking about? The previous tarantula was actually Sericopelma. <laughs> of course that I know about the genus. So you can see they are kind of similar. You see markings on their front legs. I think that a lot of Sericopelmas got that. Kind of looks like, at least reminds of Irminia. Hey, don't, don't climb. Okay, okay. Oof. Uh, this one is also some unfamiliar genus, is Cyclosternum. Never heard about that one, but it is right here on top. <laughs> Hopefully the tarantula is fine, we will see in a second. As soon as we poke her. Are you alright? Yeah, she is alive, but... Yeah, she's fine. Maybe a little bit cold from the trip, but 
fine, definitely fine. And now the last one, the one that Tarantula cat is always whining, why I don't have this species, that she doesn't understand how did I manage to not get this species for such a long time. Well, it looks like I have it now. And that would be Ephebopus muinus. Yeah, finally, I finally have this species. And here she is. Even a small sling, you can already see the stripes on the legs. Can you? Yeah, I'm sure that you can see them. In your new enclosure, you go. Is there a shade of green on the abdomen? Yeah, look at that. I wasn't aware of that fact. I don't think that they have that shade when they grow as adults, but under a certain angle, the abdomen definitely looks like it is greenish. Wow, cool stuff, cool stuff indeed. But okay, these are all the tarantulas, uh, all the tarantulas that I received from Kenya. So thank you, Kenya, so much. I really appreciate this, but I'm pretty sure that also all the other subscribers and all other people that are watching this video, they also appreciate it. We all love tarantulas and especially new tarantulas. Now, the males. I have three, so I will need three enclosures. Just a second. Three temporal enclosure coming right up. First one will be Psalmopeus cambrigae. Let's see if he's fine. Okay, he definitely looks all right. Now to get him in. Ooh, whoa. What a pretty fuzzy guy. Hello. Yeah, I know that you are dangerous, but save that for a female to show off yourself how strong and dominating you are. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Great. He is super fuzzy. I'm surprised. Now, second one will be Formosa. Pezzoteria Formosa, that is. And are you fine? Oh, <laughs> there he is. That is one weird pose. Do you want to climb out? Whoa, you're also a big one. <laughs> Pretty big, right? And down you go on the cord bark. Excellent. Flawless. But I definitely need to put them in those bigger glass enclosures. And the last one. That one will, should technically be the biggest because I used to have a mature male of this species. It is a Pezzoteria rufilata. And it was huge. Let's see if that is the case over here. Oh, well, not really. I don't get it how they managed to squeeze these huge males inside of these small cups. <laughs> I mean, he is big, right? Really big, actually. It is quite deceiving when they are all clumped up. And then once they stretch, it's like, oh, this is a huge spider, whoa. Now also, you go down. There. Perfect. <laughs> and he's going to hide behind the cork bark immediately. Oh, this is a bit dirty. But regardless, this is done. And you know, I still have two left, but these are for one special video. I mean, next video will be about these two, actually about one. But since I also received another one, we will need to figure it out. All right. Once again, Kenya, thank you for, the, for all the spiders, for all the tarantulas. Spider's World, I mean Yaroslav from Spider's World, thank you for that one freebie. And rest of you, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!